Hey guys, it's Lucky Girl B, and welcome to The Sims 3, Zeta Beta, Zeta Beta, the most elite sorority on campus. Now, it's a brand new fall semester here at Sims University, which means there's a whole new crop of freshmen coming in, which means it is time for sororities to fill up that freshman quota. So, welcome to Rush Week. Yay! ZB forever! Yay! Now, how about we meet our big sisters? Now, of course, we have sorority president, Georgina S., and she's the most well-known, most popular, and most trendiest big sis on campus. Any other sorority girl who wants to go head-to-head -head with her and take her spot is going to have a tough time. She is super, super, super excited about all things sorority, and not just because she did a line in the bathroom, but because sorority is her life. She is a legacy. The honor of being president of Zeta Beta has been passed down from her grandmother to her mother and now to her. So it's up to her to continue this legacy with her own daughter one day. Here we have fellow big sis, Brooke Q. Now Brooke is basically Georgina's second hand woman who is sometimes a little skeptical of Georgina's ways but with Georgina as a friend, she won't ever have to worry about enemies. So she quietly follows along her fearless leader while sometimes in fear herself. <laughs> Here we have Chrissy W, who is third in command. She is also a legacy. This year she has been in charge in finding us new recruits. So I hope the girls she has invited to our party are gonna be up to snuff. Cause if not, Georgina will definitely let her know about it. Here we have Catherine, or Cat for short. And honestly, she has no useful role in this sorority. She just a pretty face with gray hair and big boobs. But she brings all the frat boys here for our day parties and our mixers. So I guess she is kind of useful. <laughs> for a big slab of meat with silicone. Oh wait, they're natural. Right. Anyway, there's a big rush party to plan because we're going to meet our new recruits. So let's get started. Oh, and it looks like some of the girls are starting to arrive. And it looks like we have some hotties and some naughties. Ew. Seriously? Where did Chrissy find this trash? Hanging out by the DG sorority house? <laughs> Those dogs. Only a Delta Gamma would let a hoe like that in. But of course we must be nice to all these girls. At least we have a few good looking ones in the bunch. Ugh. Please don't let her near the food. Her face may fall off. Oh well, it was very nice of her to bring refreshments. See, people are laughing at your ugliness. Anyway, now that all the girls are here, we better give our speech. Well, as president, it is up to Georgina to make all these girls feel welcomed, even the ones who aren't welcome. It'd be imperative if some of the girls come here to actually listen to the speech. Hello, is this thing on? Yes, welcome ladies to Rush Week. Please enjoy your stay here at Zeta Beta, the most elite sorority on campus. I hope this is the place for all you girls, but obviously there's not a place for all of you. But I'm sure there's empty bed slots at the DG house. <laughs> I mean, not that that's not a lovely sorority itself. Okay, who invited a dead girl to the party? Seriously, there's a dead bitch here. And she's on fire. Now, that is just a safety hazard. Excuse me, but while I do admire your enthusiasticness, you will not be accepted into this sorority. You could burn the place down. Well, ladies, mingle, mingle. Wait, someone invite another dead chick? She just floated into our house. No, someone, please. Cat, can you please show her the way out? Well, it's very important for our actives to be talking to our soon-to-be pledges. Although it's obvious that some of these girls are just not material. I mean, look at that body. We would have to do major work on her. But it's obvious there's already a few fan favorites from our girls. And of course, the girls who are not wanted are just getting totally ignored. And girls who obviously are only interested in our food and drink will definitely not be accepted. Especially if they have the face of a wolf. 
She literally came here just to eat and drink our food. She obviously won't be getting a bid. Not to mention, it looked like she's about to sprout a tail. The party's halfway over, so it's time for Georgina and the other girls to start figuring out exactly who they would like to offer a bid to. While this is a huge house, we can only accept a small number of girls. And even the ones who we give a bid to may not actually be initiated into our sorority house. So now it's time to offer our bids. And we are offering a bid to Priscilla, Tessa, Muffy, and Tiffany. These girls are absolutely gorgeous and will be perfect additions to our home. Ooh, but it looks like Georgina and Muffy are getting to a little bit of a spat. That girl better watch out. We could make her life here a hell. Now it's time to have a talk with our brand new pledges. Hello again, ladies. Congrats on being a part of this year's Zeta Beta Pledge class. I know you are all as excited to be here as we are excited to have you here. Zeta Beta isn't just the best sorority on campus who only have the hottest girls, who throw mixers with the hottest guys. We are the shining examples of brain and beauty. We all have amazing GPAs and amazing careers already lined up for us and waiting for when we graduate. And with our connections, we can give you all the same future. Obviously, since we offer you all so much, we expect nothing but the best from all of you. You have to be the best. You have to be the brightest. To be one of us, you have to be a diamond among cubic zirconials. And right now, you're all coal. If you add enough pressure to coal, you get a beautiful diamond. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put you under pressure, push you to your limits. But of course, it's all to your benefit. We're your family. We've all been through this process. And we want to make it as easy for you as possible. But you got to be tough. All of you may not make it through this process. But if you can, I promise you, you will be the future leaders of America. CEOs, powerful, successful business women. Thank you so much. Well, it looked like a lot of girls enjoyed his speech. Well, except for Muffy. She seems a bit skeptical. So I think now it's time to show these girls around. Obviously, this is the house's family room, where we have some of our meetings, but mostly we have our parties and movie nights here. Here's our sorority's personal library and computer room, where some of our studying gets done, <laughs> when we have a chance to study. Our bathroom slash laundry room, isn't it gorgeous? Of course, the pledges will get very acquainted with this room since they will be doing all of our laundry. And our gorgeous kitchen, which once again, our pledges will be doing most of the cooking for us. Our dining area plus bar station, where once again, pledges will be cleaning. <laughs> it's like they're the maids. But to reward all that cleaning, they'll get themselves a nice long rest in their gorgeous bedroom. Of course, each girl will have to be roomed with someone. The littles will be in one room and the bigs will be in another. But aren't the little sisters' rooms just cute? I mean, it's totes adorable. It's just as nice as the big sisters' rooms. And of course, we have two bathrooms on this floor where both include two sinks and mirrors and three shower slash bathroom stalls. And we even gave ourselves a sweet workout area because we can't have any fatties amongst our group. Now I think it's time for the ladies to head to bed. Tomorrow morning we'll talk more about pledging and rush week and hazing. Good night ladies and welcome to your new home. Okay, wake up, you lazy bitches. Get up right now. 
You heard me, you fat whores, wake up. Front and center pledges. That's right, you lazy bitches, rise and shine. It's your first day as pledges. Wake your asses up. Your big sisters are hungry, so you better get your asses in the kitchen and make us breakfast right now. That's right, you heard them get downstairs right now. Well, don't just stand there and start cooking. Come on, start making us breakfast now. Where's our coffee? Where's our waffles? Where's our breakfast burritos? I'm not playing with you guys. Hurry it up. Excuse me, did I say you guys could eat? No, I didn't. Put the food down. And while you hoes get our food together, we'll be waiting. And it better be good. Well, there we go. That looks delicious. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do we have a problem, Pledge? I didn't think so. Now everyone can eat because I said so. Although it's clearly obvious, some of our behinds are too big and they don't need breakfast. Hurry up and get your food, Pledges. We got a long day ahead of us. We gotta whip you guys into shape. Okay, ladies. Well, since this is your first day in the house, we are not gonna take it easy on you. We're gonna make you run faster than you have had, drink more alcohol than you've ever drank, and make out with more boys than you've ever made out with. <laughs> That's right. We're having a mixer with the boys, a Sigma Tau tonight. See, it's not all hard work and screaming and rage. Some people may call this hazing, we just call it building character. That's right. So the Zeta Betas are having a mixer with Sigma Tau, one of the top fraternities on this campus. They just happen to have the most ambitious, brightest, and sexiest guys on campus. So while the active big sisters watch TV, the littles will be cleaning up behind us, taking out trash, doing our dishes, doing our laundry. No one said it was an easy job, but someone has to do it. And why should that someone be us? That's right, collect all our dirty undies. We want them to be fresh and clean for when the boys come. Oh, don't worry. You'll get to hang out with the boys, too, while you serve them drinks. Georgina is especially excited for the party tonight because she might just get pinned by her longtime boyfriend. Um, Priscilla... I didn't tell you to drop those on the floor. I told you to get down on your knees and scrub the floor. We want our laundry done and we want it done right. Hurry the hell up. Are you skanks done taking out the trash? Well, good. You can start raking the leaves. Um, you lazy skanks missed the bar. You think we're gonna serve the Sigma Tau's old stale drinks? Hurry up and clean them. So, so. Ugh. Pledges. Useless. Absolutely useless. Um, I still see a dish here. Somebody better come and clean it. Um, I don't see you moving fast enough yet. Muffy, I've been calling you this whole time to get these dishes. Please don't test my patience. Oh, that's right. Oh, and whoever is calling you, ignore them. Your time is mine right now. Now, it has become painfully obvious that some of these girls are not working out as they should. All Zeta Betas are size small. We will never have a girl of ours wearing a medium. So we want you clearly out of shape girls to put on your Zeta Beta best and start working out. Now that the pledges are in their Zeta Beta workout gear, it's time for them to start sweating. Come on, skank. Run. Run like you're on a date with a guy who made you split the bill. Come on, imagine it. You wore your sexiest dress, got your hair and nails done, and he's making you go Dutch? You run, girl, you run. Come on. Imagine it turns out he has a girlfriend, and she's like twice your size and has really bad acrylics. You run so she won't scratch your face. Come on, run. He drives a car from 1997. Are you going to get into it? No, you're going to flee for your life. Work it. Come on. Oh, excuse me. Do you have to pee, Pledge? Is that why you stop? Did anyone say you could stop? 
No, they didn't. So guess what? You are going to hold it. You hear me? I don't care if your bladder burst. You are going to hold it. And then guess what? Once you pee on yourself, you're going to mop it back up. Now get back on that treadmill. So I think we did an excellent job of working our girls out. But they left their nasty, sweaty clothes all over the place. Plus, Tessa, I want you to clean it up. And when you're done, you can all hit the shower so we can start getting ready for our party tonight. Hurry up and do it now! Thank you, Pledge! Pledges, I command that you keep some of these boys entertained. Come on, this is an opportunity to work on your hostess skills. And make sure you keep those kegs filled, girls!